talking about weeping for Jerusalem. He picked the woman with the less children as the example of our crying for all children. We have to learn to cry when it's even not our child.
Jeremiah what? Jeremiah 31, 31. verses 15. Thus saith the Lord. Yeah. The voice so was heard from. Read, 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 read in the microphone. Lamentation. Read, read, start again, start again. Read, read nice and loud in the microphone. Nice and loud in the microphone. Thus saith the Lord. A voice was heard in Rama, lamentation and bitter weeping. Rachel, weeping for her children, refused to be comforted for her children because they were not. 16, 16. 16. Now look. Thus said. First, she's weeping for her children. When God sees the so Rachel's weeping for the children, he can't just sit still. He has to respond. Look what happened next. Thus saith the Lord, refrain thy voice from weeping. Why? And thine eyes from tears. Uh -huh. For thy work shall be rewarded. Come on, somebody. Here, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Listen, Rick, listen, listen, listen. Lord. Listen what he says now. Not his work, but the works of the Rachel's that, that's reaping. So you thought, well, the church's not there because No, the church is not there because sometimes Rachel's are not reaping. So what did God say? After they was weeping, now he heard their weeping. I said, refrain from their weeping and your tears because now your works are going to be what? Show me what? Rewarded. Rewarded. Said the Lord. Said the Lord. And they shall come again from the land of the enemy. And they shall come again. And the enemy is Satan the church. He wants all of our unsaved to stay unsaved. That's why I mean every race we weep before the children. And, and when I say children, I don't mean other people. I mean, you told me everybody that's not saved. Yes. Yes. We act like only young people are not saved. Yes. Amen. Amen. Keep on weeping. And when God hears your cry, he will hear it. He will, he will act on it. And he's not slack. It's not his promise. My God. His promises. God wants to bless. And he's not asking us how to bless. He knows how to bless, when to bless, and who to bless. All he wants to do is get out of his way and let him bless. Can I say that again? Uh, we, 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 we trying to tell God we won't be blessed under this condition, we blessed under that. God can bless under any condition. Y'all don't believe that, y'all don't believe that, huh? Uh, God can bless under any condition he chooses to bless in. Amen. And God can bless who he want to bless, when he want to bless him. Amen. Let's stop trying to dictate to God who to bless and whether or not they're worthy to be blessed. If God wanna bless them, let him bless them. And as you let God bless them, you get a blessing. You ever get today, church? They might be at today, church. But we celebrate God blessing somebody else. They bless you. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, The devil 
say, he that hunger and thirst, and the righteousness shall be filled. He didn't give any conditions, did he? He just said, hunger and thirst. Somebody say, say, he's hungry now. Oh, come on, somebody, he's hungry now. Say, he's hungry now. Hungry now. Now, why am I saying that? At the time you're hungry, that's the time the Lord wants you to fast. Oh, you gotta get the right catch, you get it? At the time that you're hungry, that's the time God wants you to fast. Give me the quote this one, I won't trip. At the time that you're hungry, Now, I don't want him to be the only one hungry. God is in the midst of this place right now. God is moving in the midst of this people right now. God is showering his blessings right now. There's something called preparation. You have to prepare the ground before you put seed in the ground. Okay. But everybody can't mess with the ground once God is preparing the ground. Everybody can't mess with the ground while God is preparing the ground. Say this for future. Because God wants to deliver. You ever take notice with your pastor? Sometimes I pray for folks, and sometimes I tell other people to pray for folks. Just because I'm the pastor doesn't mean I'm always spiritual. I don't care what your title is, that doesn't mean you're always spiritual. Everybody can't tear me over everybody. Amen, church. There are distractions as well as help. Amen. We have to be led by the Spirit. So I'm saying this is, when we have people are hungry, look to the leader and they'll tell you what to do and give direction and so forth. You may mean well, but let's make sure. Amen. We don't want anything to knock a person off that way. They, 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 they're there, they're there, and they all of a sudden, they get a nudge and set them back. Amen. Yeah, over here today, church. Have you ever tarried and then something just bumped you back? Amen. We don't, we, don't, we don't want that to happen while our souls are tarrying for the Lord. We want nothing to bump them back. Amen. 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 And none of us are so good that we can't step back for God. Because God doesn't need any of us. We all need God. If you're thinking, gotta be you, then you very one God does not need. Amen. Amen. All God needs is those that want to get saved in Him. Amen. 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 And we work together. The power of God will stay in this place. Souls will constantly be saved and filled. Amen. Now, everybody trying to get ready for Passover. I don't support them for that. But I want us to get ready for the Holy Ghost. Amen. Can I say that again? I want us to get ready for the Holy Ghost. I want us to get ready for the Holy Ghost. Well, what what good is it to take the Lord's supper when we don't get the Holy Ghost? If you really want the power of the Holy Ghost to move in somebody's life, because I listen to what the person said, I'm glad he was honest with his statement. See, I want that two letter word to change from an O to an I. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? He said God is working on him. But I want the O to become an I. You know what the O to become an I? Do you know what the O to become an I? All of it is good. If something is holy to it, can fall off. But if it's in me, it goes where you go. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, come on, come on. My Lord.
I want everyone that desires the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now you can't tell me you can't do this because I said we just happened to be a few weeks ago. Minister Lloyd made a suggestion. Girl, she said about fasting. Boy, that suggestion she made. Me not knowing that the very next day I had to leave for Alabama. When I got there, I still wasn't thinking. Then Wednesday came in. I go in there and the smell of food was everywhere. We had a, a, a four hour drive out from Atlanta to Alabama. And my auntie was eating in the car. And I'm sitting there. Because the Bible said, don't appear to man the fast is over. Bro. And she kept asking, why are you not eating? Why are you not eating? So finally I had to tell her, I said, well, um, our church is fasting right now. I said, I can't eat until after 6 o'clock. She said, oh my God, I'm eating in front of you. We get there. What happens after a funeral? We pass. I'm sitting with the family. But what I'm saying is all that. When your mind is on what you're supposed to be doing, all that stuff don't distract you. Amen. Cause, Cause it's not a matter of not eating. See, you could not eat. But when you're fasting, there has to be a spiritual mentality behind it. Don't just put down your plate, lift up your mind. So I don't want you to not eat. I want you to fast. There's a difference. I want you to spiritually and physically fast for the ones that want to get the Holy Ghost and spiritually and physically fast that God will keep the Holy Ghost falling in His place. On Wednesday coming, I want y'all to fast. From the time that the sun come up until this time the sun go down. Amen. Amen. If you want the Holy Ghost, that's not a long fast. If I stay fast two days, if you want the Holy Ghost, that's not a long fast. If I stay fast three days, if you want the Holy Ghost, that's not a long fast. Because the most important thing to use is not whether you're going to get to eat, but when I'm going to get filled. Now, he comes from a church where fasting goes into the weeks, not just the days. That's right. <laughs> they believe in 40 day fasting in the church. But when you're serious about God, about God's business, you're not looking at the fact that you're fasting, you're looking at what's going to come at the end of the fast. share something with the church I did not know I was going to have the strength to preach today I didn't get to church to almost fall in the today y'all know that I was sick yesterday evening and all the my son said dad you can't preach for me I'm going to have to your body but when you see souls out there come on somebody when you see souls that are hungry out there come on somebody when you see souls that are hungry out there, come on somebody. When you see souls that are hungry, come on somebody. When you see souls that are hungry. Now I'm not making no promises for the night service. <laughs> I did my part for what I have to do for the souls of the church. Amen. As a church, let us fast together for the purpose of the indwelling of the Holy Ghost. Amen. For those that desire and a hunger for it, hungering for it. Amen. Amen. Now, those who that are hungering for it, bring it out of it. Nobody here can put it in you. Nobody here can put it in you, no matter how much we love you. We can ask for you all we want, but you have to ask for yourself. You have to seek for yourself. 
And I pray that once Marcus gets it, it bounced around. Bro, uh, stop. See? See, y'all missed it right there. See, y'all missed it right there. You said what? See? He said once Marcus gets it. The moment I said once Marcus gets it, I don't need to say anything else. It's the fact I said it gets it. See what I'm saying? I want to pay attention to your master. See, y'all looking at what you hold it. Call what I said, once he get y'all should be excited after quiet you down. I said, I didn't say if he gets it, I said once he gets it. Come on, somebody. Uh-huh. Yeah. And let me share this with you. I know it's a, it's a tradition. I don't know where it came from. I don't know where it came from. Let people cry. Can I say that? Let people cry. We were taught sometimes that if you touch a person, you might knock them off. That's right. That's what he was taught. That's right. They know they're crying. That's right. And, and sometimes when we go to wipe one another's skin, now I'm not saying anybody did anything wrong, please, but I'm trying to show you something. If they're not thinking about their tears, don't you worry about it. Amen. And I know it's an act of care. It's an act of care. Amen. But sometimes we, we may not know just that one little act can sidetrack somebody, not the wall. Because as soon as you touch their face, they're going to touch other face and face. And most definitely, if you put it in their hands, you basically just told them to wipe your face. Is this good teaching, church? So do this. Stand back. We got enough mop to mop the floor. Let the tears flow. Because I guarantee you, when the Holy Ghost come in, all our faces are going to be crying. Yes. Start saying, wow, I want to get it like Marcus got it. Right. Yeah, see, that's what happens with people. See, see what happens? The people on the outside didn't want it until they saw somebody else got it. See, once they found out that somebody else got it, they inquired about it and they wanted it also. So imagine people in here like, oh, wow. You know, Marcus, not because we get up just saying, you know, they're like, wow, what an hour old. Right. If you can get it, I can too. Amen. And they think about it, they can say, we can get it at the same time. Amen. Oh, no, see, 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 see. I, I, I don't think my people think that. I don't, I don't think, I don't think, no one should have to wait until after he get it. I think we should go ahead and say, everybody get it at the same time. Understand it to save my life. Let me show you something. Now look how congested that area is over there, right? And sometimes I see that they go to trade places. They have to step all over things, try to get there, get there, get there. You know how they try to get there? It's like a, a, a we call it thing, obstacle course. But you ever notice when when Keisha on the praise God, they like you get out there so easy. Come on, you see what I'm saying? When you want to praise God, nothing is in your way. Because his mind is not what's there, his mind is what's here. We're praying for you. 